WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I mean, LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. Well, I knew the day would come when the entire WWE Universe would know LA Knight's name. It was a top name in NXT the moment he arrived. Same result in WWE. Well, I don't think anybody's going to argue the point that LA Knight is one of the most arrogant competitors in NXT history. I would agree with you, Saxton, but LA Knight has earned that arrogance with big wins over top talent. Well, now LA Knight is set to dominate all of WWE. Here comes the head of the table, the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns, the leader of the Bloodline, has arrived. And his opponents, first, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Raw Undisputed Champion, Roman Reigns. Here's a man who's held the Universal Championship for over two years. Greatness redefined. That's God mode. When you see a superstar, like Roman Reigns, you see a man who seems practically untouchable. Exactly, Saxton, like a god, an immortal. Part of the pantheon of all-time greats in the WWE. You can count on one hand the amount of people who've held the championship as long as Roman Reigns. By the looks of things, Roman Reigns is ready to continue his unparalleled domination. The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this and business. representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Corey, I agree, legendary factions, all-time tag teams, but Randy Orton, is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic yeah. individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. Awareness is key in a triple threat match, and having their head on a swivel tonight, we see L.A. Knight, Roman Reigns, and Orton. No countouts, no disqualifications, no allegiances. If there is an alliance formed during this match, at some point, it becomes every superstar for themselves. Only one of the three will end up with their arm raised in a victory here tonight. Down he goes. Had the Viper scouted. Orton gets 
looks the better there. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Strongly takedown. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Sit out powerbomb. The cockiness of L.A. Knight not even considering taking this seriously. Not the position you want to be in right now. triple threat match. Unfortunately, there's no one right answer. These matches are too unpredictable to plan for, but a good rule of thumb is to be aggressive and control the action in the ring. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Steel stares to the face. Oh, oh, cut from teeth. Tonight, cover two amazing 
Yes, the Viper cannot believe this. That should have ended this match, but it continues. This has become a monumental struggle for... Uh, Roman Reigns about to put his opponent away. No doubt. to the floor now. Whip back into the ring. Side headlock applied. Oh, good measure. Talk about cocky, floating after placing the knee on the back of the neck. and how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages. <laughs>